Welcome to another sprint of Pixel Art Academy Learn Mode. We have one extra sprint where we're still gonna twiddle a little bit with the content of the game. I did some playtesting and I need to cut down, especially the tutorial, especially the demo. Uh, it needs to be a little bit more streamlined. This will be my next two weeks to develop the in-context tutorials. So yeah kicking stuff out that was previously done and then replacing it with the in-context instructions. I'm very excited to test this in action. So yeah, let's get coding and see you soon in a few days. So the week has gone pretty well. I have written all of the instruction texts. I have designed the architecture of the message system and I have broken it out into two parts. The first one is the to-do system and the next one will be the in-drawing instructions. So far in the first week I've completed the to-do system and it looks something like this. Here as soon as you open it up it writes out what you are currently working on. So right now I have three things I can choose between working learn about helper tools and you can click on them to get the instructions. This used to be written inside of the study plan, now you get it through this interface. Let's keep on going and I'll see you at the end of the sprint. Here we are and the sprint is over and I am very very happy because all of the goals were hit while well, there's one tiny little task small low priority stuff that I didn't do but everything else look at this green color doesn't it look so beautiful all of it is done so without further ado here is the current build I've already shown you all of the let's start a new game I've already shown you how the to do system works uh, but right now we've also added this very first task you're supposed to do just to make sure that people know that you can click here so that I don't have to have that little question mark there. So now I just make you read the very first one and then uh, when you get back out then you get and then you also see this light lies you know and now we go learning and this is where the new parts come up. First of all, we have a new little font here that's a little bit easier to read for first impressions, first impressions matter. Still hard if you're not used to pixel fonts, but still should be better. Let's go in. And here you go. And hopefully it's like all of those game design tutorials tell you about the Super Mario level one where there is nothing to do but to go right. So uh, here also, if you ignore this for a moment, there's nothing else to do but click on the pencil. However, if in case somebody takes more than 10 seconds to figure it out, like you've seen here, then this pop-up useful pop-up comes up. But I don't wanna just show it to you if I want you to have those 10 seconds for the people who like to just explore. But otherwise, use the pencil to fill the pixels with the dot in the middle. This instruction was previously shown here, but you know, when you were reading that instruction, you didn't, what dots? I don't understand what it is. But now it makes sense because now you're in this context where, you know, if you haven't figured out in 10 seconds that you should click here and then you should click on one of these things, it'll come up and then now you see, use the pencil. Okay, here's the pencil. Fill the pixels with the dot in the middle. Well, here they are. So hopefully this is now intuitive enough. And also, previously it said if you uh, screw up, go it was also said here you know there was also extra information if you make a mistake come out and reset it's like oh it was all this information uh, i actually made it so that you don't have to even reset if you make a mistake and color too much it just tells you oops you went too far use the eraser to delete unwanted pixels it just gives you the eraser because that would be in the next level anyway so you might as well just uh, learn it ahead of time. It's like, it's a good, it's one of those things when I say, uh, never waste a learning opportunity, right? So if you make a mistake, well then let's teach you about the eraser. So I'm very happy about this. And then when you're done, great, go back to your portfolio to find a new sprite to draw. Very happy about this. In some levels, the instructions do pop up automatically because here I'm teaching you about what quick shortcuts are, quick shortcuts, instead of explaining it out here, they're, they're just listed so then you know something's coming up. Um, but then here it immediately tells you, hey, hold down the Alt or Option key to temporarily switch to the color picker until the key is released. So, 
click on the color picker and then oh now I have the color picker if I click and then you know it disappears after you've done what you needed to do and the most complicated was the lines tool because it has many multiple steps so for example it tells you hey you have to click to where the line starts then move to the end pixel and hold the shift key uh, because some people were in the playtest were clicking and then holding down so now it also tells you hey you should release the mouse button uh, and then press the shift key and now click on the end pixel to place down the line and then also tells you hey you can keep holding shift and then you can just uh, uh, put lines together like this so yeah I'm very excited to have people go through this version of uh, PixArt Academy drawing tutorial this is the best version yet on how to do this uh, how I imagine that tutorials would look like if if software had tutorials hopefully it's a good uh, trade-off between people that want to just explore on their own and others that want more clear instructions. So yeah, that is it. I am very happy about this and I have even better news. I will be from now on, at least until the end of the demo, I will be just uh, focusing on Pixel Art Academy. I still run the school here, but I am trying to minimize it so that I am getting more time on Pixel Art Academy. I really care about this project. I want to give it my best and so i will be able to start getting all of those all of these small little tasks that didn't happen during the sprint i will now be able to uh, get to them finally and then as always there will be an august sprint a little bit more focused thing just like these sprints are so far including the videos like you're watching uh, right now and the august one will be about sound maybe as well music so uh, looking forward to seeing you there. Uh, like this video if you've enjoyed the content, it really helps. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.